Se você está pensando em comprar ou vender skins, você tem que conhecer a Dash Skins, o primeiro mercado de skins do Brasil. Aqui você pode anunciar suas skins e receber seu dinheiro de forma segura. Você também pode comprar skins com preço bem abaixo e revender no próprio site. Entre no primeiro link da descrição e confira você mesmo. Tamo junto. Stop. And in that, this case, uh, he does stop. He gets popped. And yeah, they're going to double back towards middle. It's not an A-cat commitment. They're dropping in through lower. Taco's got the info. He's seen these players. And he needs to rotate towards B very, very fast. They're already here. They're already out and about. Tatazen running in through the site. Quick kill. Nice headshot. And MIBR, surely no way to stop this. Yeah, it's getting worse by the second. Maya now the only man remaining, and Ooh. he is trapped. He does get a nice shot onto Tatazib, but whether or not that's going to actually transpire into much more doesn't look like it. Farsin coming in, in with two of his... Very in-depth fashion. Yeah, picking it up, and they're going to give themselves something to work with here as they barrel towards this B-site. Oh. Taco saving Mayard's Ooh. life. It's going to be a little bit of repeat rinse. What? Taco with three big 1Ds. We're gonna have to get a replay of that. Yeah, Mayan had his kills stolen. Like every time he clicked, Taco is just one millisecond faster. And well, quick on the trigger is put MIBR on the board. Surely. RCF, one on five. Not believing in it myself. And KNG will not either. He'll put him to rest. And MIBR find that force flawlessly. Fire on B. And if they kill him without Taco getting away with a kill here. It's a very viable round, but Taco, good off angle for at least a free frag, but the flash is good, the spray is better. He's there with one, trapped in the corner, buying time, doesn't even want to peek, waits for Fallen to spray, and he gets away with a kill as well. No scopes attempted, that's optimistic and best. Well, creating a veil. Dumao, this is the kill of all kills. If he finds fur, surely, yeah, convert this round. Oh, he whiffs a shot, and now the retake is really on. Oh, it's really on. Fast, now <laughs> IDK. Now just IDK, 1v3 with a MAC-10 in hand, and it's not the ideal place to be. Trapped at B, armed with no... Oh, they're ready. Oh, not ready enough. Oh, RCF trying to get this. Uh-oh, <laughs> KNG, he's not waiting around. Oh, he thought about it. I, yeah, I, I yeah. like to think that he thought about yeah, that. Yeah, he definitely did. He was like looking for a moment. Should I do this? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'll win it as well. KNG looking stylish. Two Ooh. kills. Uh, I was going to say get closer. That's optimistic with how this oh. is looking. This is a shutdown. Dumao and Tatazin, two on three. Now there is a flank over towards Catwalk. Tatazin's gone that way. But oh. KNG finds oh. him. Dumao is the man to hold the fort with four and yeah gaming a third round on the board on the back of doom out orb saved forward by yeah gaming bomb plant now found and a four on four retake to decide the last round of this first half oh bullets coming everywhere through every surface every smoke every wall and fallen's flying through them all he's got himself two oh. jumping up for a third and fallen is tearing them apart kng cleans up the round and mibr clean up the half 12-3 at the end of things and well yeah can't afford to feed kills to mibr when mibr are doing the same thing when they're running the patient t side plays for great timing finds himself up long with this deagle and he's going to get himself one spam to ct is not great and no utility but fallen is going to be uh utilizing that scout to help them cut across two kills headshots from fallen with this scout that opens up the plant and taco's here to shut the round down oh dear this is not how it was meant to go for yeah gaming Dimao now over here towards the catwalk trying to get this round back under control but fallen is not stopping somebody Please pass him the memo that this isn't how this round was meant to go. Fur deeks down another in middle. Yeah, You're right, Kanji definitely got out ahead of this one. Tazan's yes. gonna go for this play, and we've seen this work out before. Will they check it? That's gonna be the big question. No. Aaron falls. A blunder on his part for not checking, but Tazan's only good for one, so Taco will be the one that takes him out of the round. This bomb gets planted. Fallen's trying to recover a little bit of this ground on Catwalk. Finds oh! a second kill. Unbelievable shot onto IDK. And now we're looking at a round closer. What? One on one. 11 HP on Fur. Oh, and the yeah. shot of the day there by Fallen. Good stuff. Pra quem me pergunta qual curso de CSGO eu indico, eu indico 100% o Guia Global. Mesmo se você já for patente alta, ele irá te ajudar a melhorar ainda mais o seu jogo. Por isso, clique no link da descrição e confira a qualidade do curso. Taken up by Farson in the spawn. 
But will they get aggressive? They have no more utility and two CTs here. It's all about timing. The flash is up. It's good for the CT side. Fast with a kill. Taco training gets two. Uh. But team kill by Mayan, who is so blind, he has to make up for it. He has to salvage this round and instead he will go down. It's a two on three. Fallen making it a reality. Him and Fur have to hold the line. Yeah, they tap the bomb and that's Fallen removed. Oh, Fur goes down immediately what? after. No time, surely. It's going to be close. I think they do have it. I think no. they have it. Rot. Ooh, oh, they got it. Very, very close. But yeah, they do just get that Ooh. one in the bag. Yeah, oh, gaming. No. More shot. utility to aggress here. Only a Molotov on KNG can play the plant with that. Fur waiting close. He's got them both. And he can 180 swivel on the site. But he might not need to because IDK is already running for the hills. They're chasing him down and they won't let him escape. Taco finished mid play for MIBR. That is exactly what kind of play there is. They're up the catwalk. Fur gets himself a kill. Taco deals with the aggression towards ramp. Information not gained and nothing gained for yet in this round. MIBR could even push a smoke if they wanted. But they'll opt to go back towards A where Taco found his earlier kill and the site looks to be taken over. Yeah, this is going to be a hard retake, but perhaps they just decide not to. MIBR look to put their third on the board. Taz and betrayed. Another, why? What? How? Every eco round, no matter how little invested, seemingly a three on two, a five on two, right? Every single time, still winnable. Fallen needs the ace clutch. He's got two. Uh -oh. oh, come on, Fallen. Yeah, the blood's flowing now. Fallen, oh. another. Oh, oh, he gets it. God. The ace for Fallen. And my goodness, MIBR, they almost throw it away, but not with Fallen in wow. the server. Talking, oh dear, just when you think he's got a chance, that's when the flashes pop, and he is going to have a chance. He is going to get a kill, but it's swiftly traded. Fallen with a scout is fast as ever in a three on three, but bomb site lost and bomb plant found. It's a retake for MIBR with a, only one kit. Oh, and IDK has retrieved this off, and he's using it to devastating oh. effect. A bit of a taste of your own medicine fallen as IDK nails down three to put a 13th on the board. Push from MIBR when, you know, you're, there's 40 seconds left and you haven't seen a player yet. You know they're holding. They were waiting for that exact kill, and with it given their way, they can now commit to A. Quick kill from Fur. Taco biding time, buying time, 25 on the clock, and if he just stays what? here, yeah, I don't know. He's going to win the round. That grenade disappears into orbit, and Taco won't receive a bit of damage. Two Deegs on the site, 15 seconds to get past, and it seems like MIBR might have already won this round. Like, I don't see any way it falls apart. They even have a third in the connector. KNG's there in jungle. So. Now, last time they regressed this A site, it was Taco, fired a couple shots into the firebox, but now, now it's a completely different ball game. Ball and falls, and now it's Mayern. Try to pick up the pieces where he left off. So far, so good. Runs out of bullets in his Galil. And well, Taco's there to help this time around. So good stuff for MIBR. It it's fast, it's ferocious. Will it be successful? No, not for the first. Fallen follows up on top of the balcony and Mayan's still here on the site, putting it down a fight. Spray is good and they are gonna get chewed up and spat out. MIBR, a flawless round. And that's exactly what they needed if they wanted to make it. But they back up and this is well-timed. Getting stuck, Mayan, quick kill, deletes fast in and the bomb's been dropped. Yeah, fast in, fast out. And now drop from the round, Mayan still Trying to buy time, Tazin and Dumao. The last two players left. Now only Tazin has upgraded onto the AK, but he's got a 1v4 to find. Does have time, but that is his only ally here to deny overtime to MIBR. Tazin dropped at the first hurdle. Oh, Thankfully readjusts in time, but for him and Taco, a two on four. This is surely undoable. Taco does rid them of one at the very, very least, but all three remaining players are here, tucked in, locked and loaded at the B side of the map. Taco gets <gasps> another damage onto IDK, even with the Deagle. Oh man, they're so the kill. About 15, 15 seconds, this yeah. is such a weird round. It's all grinded to a halt, but at some point it's got to get picked back up. Fallen with one, but it's not enough. A second overtime here on Mirage 80. Nah. And so now KNG and Fallen, they've turned this from a two on four into a two on two. And what could be a 20th round for MIBR, KNG has done so oh much my. and so has Fallen. They both... My, I just jump peek in the ramp. 
will have a Molotov, but with how Fastin plays, I don't think he's going to get caught by the Molly. Tazin certainly might, and he might get trapped behind it. Fastin is deep within the site, and he's all alone. That Molotov splits those players up. The old saying, divide and conquer, rings true in this round. And now Tazin tries to turn the tide. It's all on to oh. Dumao. And MIBR, they get it done in double OT. They make the comeback happen. It was 14-8 in favor of yeah and MIBR get the series done in two Mirage goes their way and they'll move on that's all from this series we'll be back after a quick break to digest this and